Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Antonisha Lachey, I am Mrs. Moody Reader and today we are doing five on Friday. Okay, so before we get started, um, I just wanna let you guys know this is in no way, shape or form an original idea. I got this idea from Paige. Her channel is Pages with Paige. I will link her channel below. She does a series on her channel called Seven on Sundays, where it's basically a book list type video with different prompts. For a while, I thought that she kind of came up with the idea. Um, and when I watched her last Seven on Sunday, um, she mentioned it and she always mentions it at the beginning of the video. So I don't know why I thought it was her, but um, there is a Goodreads group um, called Seven on Sunday. And it is a group for content creators to come together and basically do the same type of video on their channel. Um, the group is... Um, managed or moderated by the creator of seven on sundays um their name is grace i will link their channel below as well i will always have the goodreads group grace's channel and Paige's channel linked below every five on friday video that i create um but basically grace creates a list of prompts every month and so everyone is doing the same seven on sunday prompt but because i don't post videos on sundays I decided to modify it and do a five on Friday. Um, there are prompts out for April, but I already had a couple prompts that I wanted to work through for the rest of this month. So I will be doing my own prompts this month. And then starting in May, I will be doing the same prompts that the group is doing. So that is why I will always have the Goodreads group, Grace's channel and Paige's channel linked below every five on Friday video that I do. If it is something that you are interested in doing, if you are a content creator, whether that's booktube, um, bookstagram, book talk, whatever, a book blog, um, definitely check out the Goodreads group link below and see if that is something that you are interested in. So just wanted to put that out there. So for my first five on Friday, I wanted to do my five star predictions for book of the month books. I have not done any five star prediction videos yet. Um, I definitely wanna do more because I do like seeing these um, five star prediction videos and then seeing the creator come back a few months later and after they've read those books and see if they were indeed five star books for them. So I definitely want to do more five star prediction um, type videos and I figured I would start with my book of the month books because as you can see, I have this shelf and this shelf that are all book of the month books that I have not read yet in addition to the five I'm about to talk about. So I am very much behind with my book of the month books. So it is my kind of unofficial goal to try to get at least one book of the month book read every month if not more. Um, I've uh, added some book of the month prompts to my TBR game and things like that. So yeah I need to I need to get cracking with the book of the month. So I decided to do five star predictions for book of the month books. So the very first book that I think is gonna be five star for me is The Alienist by Caleb Carr. I just talked about this in my April kind of TBR video. So this is one I'm trying to get to this month. Um, very quick recap in case you guys didn't see my April TBR. This is um, historical fiction and thriller mystery thriller this is set in uh 1896 in new york um there is a serial killer who is kind of a jack the ripper style killer except the serial killer is killing young male prostitutes and um teddy roosevelt is the police commissioner at the time and he formed this team of people to investigate um the team is led by laszlo chrysler he is or chrysler Kriesler. He is a forensic psychologist, um, but during this time, psychology is um, looked at very skeptically. So he is called the alienist. Um, that's just what psychologists are called because, again, people don't quite believe in psychology. So this is about how they use 
um, forensic psychology and behavioral profiling to try to identify the serial killer based on the way that he kills his victims and this is like an early introduction to how forensic psychology as we know it today is being used. Um, this book I'm very very interested in. I talked about it. There is a um, TV show that they created I think on TNT and that's where I first heard about it. I was watching the show. I didn't finish it and when I found out there was a book I wanted to read the book and then I will go back and watch the show again. So this one I'm definitely expecting to be five stars for me. So the next book that I think the next book of the month book that I think is going to be a five star read for me is The Death of Vivek OG by Akweki Amezi. I've heard absolutely amazing things about this book but to be honest with you I'm still not 100% sure what the book is about. So um, I've heard there is some representation in here. I can't remember if um, Vivek is has a mental disability or a physical disability or uh, I I can't remember exactly what type but there is some type of representation in here um the main blurb is what does it mean for a family to lose a child they never really knew this is set in Nigeria um I know that Vivek has something going on where um I want to say they because it never says he even though Vivek is born male so I'm gonna say they they have um something going on where where is it um so like they have like blackouts and something else so I don't know exactly what's going on but it says one afternoon in a town in south southeastern Nigeria a mother opens her front door to discover her son's body wrapped in colorful fabric at her feet so something happens to Vivek um it talks about their um growing up from childhood to adolescence the relationships that are formed with Niger women and different things like that and some type of act of violence happens and Vivek is I'm assuming killed and their mother finds their body um but like I said I've heard that this is very very um it's very small but it's very hard hitting it's very emotional um and I'm just really really looking forward to reading it and getting a better understanding of what's going on these types of books I think this would more fall under literary fiction are not my normal type of books that I would read so that's yet another reason why I'm I don't know why I'm just kind of in this mood to read books that are just going to really emotionally touch me um that's just the mood I'm in because I'm actually looking at two more books that I have down here and they are both I believe kind of literary fiction that seems to be very emotional so I guess that's just the mood I'm in right now. The next book of the month book that I think is going to be a five star read for me is called Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward. Um, this one I found on book of the month this was an add-on um, it wasn't a monthly pick I'm sorry if you hear my babies out there but um, I really really am interested in reading this one this one is about um, it takes place in this town called um, this town in Mississippi and it's about in uh, a hurricane that's coming I'm assuming it might be Hurricane Katrina I'm not sure or it may be based on Hurricane Katrina but it is about this family um, I don't know it doesn't say anything about the mother so I don't know where the mother is but um, it's about this girl a uh, name uh, Eshe, she is 15 years old and it says she's motherless among men so um, I'm assuming the mother has maybe passed away um, but their father drinks a lot um, and then she's got brothers and they hear that the hurricane is coming they're trying to prepare for the hurricane one of the brothers has uh, a prize pit bull and um, the pit bull has just had puppies and the puppies are dying one by one. Another brother's name is Randall. He is normally, um, he is a basketball player. And when he's not playing basketball, he's looking after the youngest brother named Junior. And then Eshe, Eshe, uh, it's E-S-C-H, so I'm thinking it's Eshe. She's the only girl, um, 
and she is 15 and she just found out that she's pregnant so they are um very very close to each other and so it talks about their preparation for the storm the kind of storm that's brewing within their family and then what happens after the storm has passed and i just feel like this one is going to be yet again very emotional. I think we are going to possibly get some insight into what happened to their mother and why the mother is no longer around. And again, dealing with a 15 year old who's pregnant and a hurricane's coming. So very excited about that one. The next book that I'm expecting to be five stars and I'm hoping and praying that it is, is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I, this was the November 2020 book of the month pick and I got it in that month and I still have not read it and everyone is talking about it on booktube right now so I'm really trying to make it a priority um for those of you who don't know These Violent Delights is a Romeo and Juliet retelling it is set in 1926 Shanghai so it is um about these two warring gang families and the two main characters are each members of the other family so it is just talking about this blood feud that is going on between the two families um and just all the things that go on a lot of people have said that this has like godfather type vibes and i absolutely love the godfather it's one of my favorite movies of all time I have the Godfather book as well so I am really really looking forward to reading this one. I just every time I hear somebody talking about it since it came out every time I would hear someone talking about it I'd be like "Ooh, I need to go get that off my shelf and read it and I still haven't and I don't know why so I'm definitely obviously prioritizing these because I'm expecting them to be five star reads so yeah I'm really looking forward to this one. So the final book of the month book that I think is going to be a five star read for me is what comes after by joanne tompkins this was in april this month april 2021 book of the month pick and i chose it which again for me is very rare typically i will just go for whatever thriller is available but i have found myself um this month i don't think i picked any thriller this month i got this one and i think i got i think i got a romance yeah i got the um oh where is it Da, 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 da. yeah the um the new emily henry people we meet on vacation those are what i got this month instead of any thriller which is very surprising so yeah i guess that, that is just the mood that i'm in right now are these emotional type books so uh what comes after this book is set in the pacific northwest of the u.s and it's about these um two teenage boys um uh, they both die shockingly and the community is trying to deal with that and then this mysterious um teenage girl shows up she's 16 years old and she's pregnant um and she just kind of emerges out of the woods um and into the lives of those same boys families um they don't know why the boys died they don't know what this girl has to do with it so you know they are grieving the death of these two boys and um yeah so this this girl i think she goes to live um i'm just gonna read this it says in misty coastal washington isaac's teenage son daniel is gone leaving isaac alone in a rambling victorian home shocked and grieving the friendships and faith that once nourished him are flickering next door lori a working single mother struggles with the final act committed by her own teenage son the two parents are separated by only a silvery stretch of trees but emotionally they are stranded isolated by their great losses until they meet evangeline fiery in hair and in spirit 16 pregnant and alone evangeline's unexplained arrival changes everything at first it feels like a blessing and a bridge across a divide but the girl clearly is hiding something about her connection to the boys and their deaths soon all three characters are forced to examine what really happened in their overlapping past and what it all possibly means for a shared future with a suspenseful mystery at its core what comes after is an unforgettable story of loss and anger but also of kindness and hope courage and forgiveness it is a deeply moving account of strangers and friends helping one another forward after tragedy as they learn how their losses can unite them all so yes i am 
really really looking forward to this one like i said i don't know why i'm in the mood for my emotions to just be wrecked but i guess that's just where i am right now so yeah so that is my other book of the month five star um expectation i guess so yeah so those are the five books that i am expecting to be five star reads from book of the month let me know in the comment section below if you have read any of those um no spoilers please um if you are not familiar with book of the month i will have my link below i always have it below um i believe if I'm not mistaken, if you use my link, you will get a discount off of your first book of the month box. And I think I will get a free book credit. So um, full disclosure, just so you guys know that. And I greatly appreciate it for those of you who do use the link because it does help to support my channel and help me get more books. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys are reading right now. Give this video a thumbs up if you are looking forward to more book list type videos like this that will be coming every Friday. Um, again, check out Paige's channel and Grace's channel that I will have linked below. And if you are interested in the seven on Sunday group, which is what I based my five on Friday, check out the Goodreads group link below. Again, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.